The Roman army was one of the most formidable military forces in history, and its influence is still felt today in the way we think about warfare and leadership. However, there are many things about the Roman army that are not widely known, even among history buffs. Here are nine things you never knew about the Roman army. Contrary to popular belief, the Roman army was not made up entirely of Romans. In fact, it was one of the most multicultural armies in history. The Roman Empire spanned a vast area, and soldiers from all over the empire joined the army. In the early days of the Roman Republic, the legions were raised from the Roman citizenry, who were required to serve in the army. However, as the empire expanded, the legions were made up of soldiers from all over the empire, including provinces in Africa, Spain, Greece, Britain, and others. This allowed the Roman army to make use of the different skills and strengths of soldiers from different regions. Unlike many militaries of the time, the Roman army was a professional force. Soldiers were paid a regular salary and were trained to fight as a cohesive unit. This made them one of the most effective fighting forces in history. Legionaries in the Roman army underwent rigorous training, both physical and mental, to prepare them for the challenges of military life. The length of their service varied over time, but in general, legionaries were expected to serve for 20 years. During their training, legionaries would learn a variety of skills, including marching in formation, handling weapons, building fortifications, and following orders. They would also undergo physical training to develop their strength, endurance, and agility. After completing their basic training, the soldiers would join a legion and undergo further training with their unit. This included learning specific tactics and techniques that were unique to their legion. The Roman army had a defined hierarchy, with the general at the top and the foot soldiers at the bottom. However, there were many ranks in between. Some of the ranks and roles include Legatus, a general who commanded a legion. They were appointed by the emperor or a high-ranking official. A centurion was a professional officer who commanded a century, which was a unit of approximately 80 soldiers. Centurions were known for their discipline and bravery. The signifier, a soldier who carried a standard, or signum, which represented the legion. Miles were the regular soldiers who made up the bulk of the Roman army. They were trained to fight in close combat with weapons such as swords and spears. Discipline was a key part of the Roman army's success. Soldiers who broke the rules could be punished severely, including being beaten, forced to carry heavy weights, or even executed. Here are three of the most famous kinds. Fustuarium was a punishment in which the offender was beaten to death by their fellow soldiers. The offender would be tied up, and the other soldiers would take turns hitting them with sticks or stones until they died. This punishment was used for serious offenses such as desertion, mutiny, or cowardice in battle. Decimation was where one in ten soldiers in a unit was randomly selected to be killed by their fellow soldiers. This punishment was also used for serious offenses such as desertion, mutiny, or cowardice in battle. Whipping was a common punishment for minor offenses such as insubordination or disobedience. The offender would be stripped to the waist and struck with a whip made of leather cords. The soldiers of the Roman army were expected to carry a variety of equipment with them, which was essential for their survival and success on the battlefield. The equipment included armor, shields, weapons, backpacks, tunics, sandals, tools, water containers, and pouches. The Roman army had a medical corps that was responsible for treating wounded soldiers. They also had surgeons who could perform amputations and other surgical procedures. Archaeological digs discovered implements including surgical instruments, medicine bottles, bandages, prosthetics, dental tools, and medical texts. The Roman army used a variety of tactics, depending on the situation. They could fight in tight formations, such as the famous Testudo Formation, which protected soldiers from arrows and other missiles. They could also use cavalry and siege engines to break down walls and fortifications. The Roman army was involved in building many military and civilian structures that were essential for the empire's expansion. Legionaries were responsible for building roads that could withstand heavy traffic 
and adverse weather conditions, the army needed to move quickly and efficiently across its vast empire, and good roads were critical for achieving this goal. In addition, legionaries were responsible for building camps to house and protect soldiers during military campaigns. The Roman army had a profound influence on Western civilization, not just in terms of military tactics and organization, but also in terms of law, politics, and culture. The legacy of the Roman army can still be seen in modern military organizations, demonstrating the enduring influence of this ancient military force. I hope that you enjoyed this video. We would love it if you clicked the like button and became a subscriber so that we can make more videos like this. If you'd like to explore more about ancient history, visit the History Skills website. I look forward to seeing you again next time.